So 5, the tangent to the curve, this one, at point this one, intersect x axis at point B, find the distance of AB. So we know that this one is x, so intersect the x axis, we know that y is equal to 0. So this one, point B is x, 0. So now we have y, we can find the uh, equation of tangent. So y is equal to 2x plus y. So we can find dy over dx from y. So firstly, we cannot have set like this. We have to take out the power, so which is 2x plus 1, power of half. So how to differentiate this one? So 2y, dy over dx is equal to. So first we differentiate, but don't touch anything inside here. So half we bring forward, we get half. So we just let 2x, half minus 1, we get negative half, right? Then only we differentiate what is inside the bracket. Okay, so this one we get, so half, so this one is half times this one, so actually is equal to, so you see here the power of negative half, you can actually bring it down which is 2, so 2x plus 1 half, so when you differentiate 2x, you get 2, differentiate 1, you get 0, so 2 and 2 can be cancelled out, so you have 1 over set 2x plus 1. You see here, so you change back to this one. So we know that at this point, a for 3, where x, y, x is equal to 4. So here when x is equal to 4, dy over dx is equal to 1 over set 2, 4 plus 1, which is equal to 1 over set 9, which is equal to 1 over 3. So here we know that dy over dx is equal to 1 over 3. So equation of tangent is equal to y minus y1 is equal to mx minus x1. So this one is for 3, a for 3. So y minus y1 is 3, m is 1 over 3, x minus x1 is 4. So y minus 3 is equal to 1 over 3x, 1 over 3 times negative 4, you get negative 4 over 3. So y is equal to, we bring 3 to the other side, 1 over 3x. So this one is minus 4 over 3 plus 3. So to combine the fraction, this one 3 times 3. So 1 over 3x, negative 4 plus 9, we get 5 over 3. So we know that this one is the equation of tangent. So we know that intersect x axis at point B. So we know that this one intersect A and B. And we know at B, y is equal to 0. So when y is equal to 0, 0 is equal to 1 over 3x plus 5 over 3. So we can multiply everything with 3. So we get x plus 5. x is equal to negative 5. So here we get point B is negative 5, 0. So now distance of AB. So distance is equal to third distance of y square plus distance of x square or x square plus y square. So here we know that our A is for 3 and then our B is negative 5, 0. So distance of x is this one 4 minus negative 5. So 4 minus negative 5 square. Plus, so distance in y is 3 minus 0 or 0 minus 3 is the same one because we will square later on, right? So this one, five, uh, 4 plus 5 is 9 square plus 3 square. So here we get 81 plus 9, we get 90 which is equal to 9.486 so oh, you can see in your textbook we get 3 third time so how do we get this so 
yes you don't know so cert 90 is actually equal to 9 times 10 right which is equal to cert 9 times cert 10 and cert 9 you can get 3 so 3 times cert 10 you get this one but you can just leave it like this or you can do it like this same thing okay So, B, the tangent to the curve, this one is parallel to the normal to the curve. So, we have parallel, right? So, normal to the curve of this one, parallel, this one is normal of this one. At this one, find the value of constant H and K. So, this one is tangent. So, what we have is this one. So, Y is equal to X square plus 6X plus 4 where dy over dx is equal to so when we differentiate we get 2x plus 6 right this one we get 2x and this one we get 6 this one we get 0 so this one is the gradient of tangent to this one but we know that this one is normal right so the gradient of tangent so m1 is equal to 2x plus 6 So we know at this one is at negative 2, negative 4. This one is x and this one is y. So when x is equal to negative 2, dy over dx is equal to 2 times negative 2 plus 6. Here we get negative 4 plus 6. So here we get 2. So we know that here the gradient of tangent of this one is 2. So gradient of normal if this one is m1 is equal to 2 so m2 is equal to so we know the formula m1 times m2 is equal to negative 1 m2 is equal to negative 1 divided by m1 which is negative 1 divided by 2 which is negative 1 over 2 so we know that this one m is equal to negative 1 over 2 which means this one is also equal to negative 1 over 2 So here we know that m is equal to negative 1 over 2. So here, this one y is equal to hx cubed plus kx plus 2. So we know that this one dy over dx is the equation of tangent. So 3 times h, we get 3h, right? So x, 3 minus 1 is 2 plus kx. So we get k when we differentiate and 2 we get 0. So this is basically what we get. This one is the equation of tangent. So we know this one is at point 1 and half. This one is x, this one is the y, right? So at when x is equal to 1, dy over dx is equal to 3h1 square plus k. So dy over dx is equal to, this one is negative half, is equal to 3h plus k. So this one negative 1 is equal to, so you multiply with 2, we get 6h plus 2. Okay, so this one is number 1. So you have H and K here. So to get H and K, you need to have two equations so that, so that we can do simultaneous, simultaneous equation. Yes. Equation. So here from this one you have y, h, k. So you also have x and y. So if you substitute x and y, you can get another equation in term of h and k. So here from this one, right? So y is equal to h x cube plus k x plus two. So we know that this one is one half, right? So when we substitute y and x, we can get h and in term of h and k so when y is equal to half h is equal to h lah x is 1 cube plus k 1 plus 2 so half is equal to this one is h plus k plus 2 so multiply everything with 2 here we get 1 is equal to 2 h plus 2 k plus 4 so here we get 2 h plus 2 k is equal to so we bring 4 to the other side 1 minus 4 we get negative 3 so this is second equation so you can see this one 
I just put it up here 6H plus 2K is equal to negative 1 and then this one is 2H plus 2K is equal to negative 3 so here we can see that we can eliminate K if we minus so 6 minus 2 6H minus 2H is 4H negative 1 minus negative 3 get negative 1 minus minus become plus 3 so negative 1 plus 3 is 2 4H is equal to 2 H is equal to 2 divided by 4 which is equal to 1 over 2 so when H is equal to 1 over 2 so you can use any of this equation to find K so if I want to use this one 2H plus 2K is equal to negative 3 so 2 half plus 2k is equal to negative 3 so this one i get 1 so 2k is equal to negative 3 1 i bring to the other side become negative 1 right so 2k is equal to negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4 so k is equal to negative 4 divided by 2 so here i get negative 2 so we know that h and k so h is equal to half and k is equal to negative 2 